So last month, my coaching business had a $60,000 cash collected month, which worked out around about $78,000 in revenue. And so what I wanna to do today is essentially just talk about some of the key lessons I've picked up uh, over the past sort of year and a half since I started this coaching business, whether you're you know simply just starting out or whether you have already started your own coaching business and are on that path to scale it you know, to six figures and hopefully then beyond that. So the first lesson is to sell while you build. Now, one of the big mistakes that a lot of creators, coaches, and consultants make, they think they need to have the perfectly built offer, the perfectly built program before they actually make any sales. Ideally, pre-selling your program before you've even made it. Because what most people do is they do what they call market research, which is what some coaches teach. Um, but they do all this market research and they you know, do polls and they you know, audit and they talk to their audience. They find out what they need help with. And then they take that information, they go and build you know, what, what they think is the perfect program because this is what their audience is asking for. And then they spend a month, two months, three months building it out, making it look pretty, you know, buying camera gear and doing all these sort of things. They go to sell the program. And crickets. And it's simply because, you know, you don't know what the best program is until you actually get clients, right? And the way you build the best program is you build it based on what your clients struggle with, the problems they face whilst being in your program. And so the best way to actually have success and to build a better program is to get clients. And so the best thing you wanna do is just if you're starting out, really simplify your program. I started off in April uh, last year. I didn't start with this program. You know, I started with a very simplified version and I built it while I sold it. And I sold it while I built it. Um, so that's the first lesson. Moving on to lesson number two. This is a lesson I learned from one of my mentors uh, Trey Cockrum and he always says that simplicity scales and complexity fails. What you find again at what most people do is they'll have email marketing, ads, uh, Facebook ads, organic marketing, funnels, webinars, masterclasses, challenges, you know, all these different ways of generating leads or trying to grow their business and the complexity of it means you just can't scale it. It means you can't master it. So follow the rule of one which is one offer, uh, one outcome, one avatar, uh, one platform, you know, in terms of like actual social media platforms, and use that rule of one as much as possible because that'll keep you focused, that'll keep your process simplified, it will make sure that you can actually improve what it is you're doing, master it, and that's how you then scale from zero to six figures very quickly, and then from six to seven figures even quicker. Uh, moving on to lesson three, which is assumptions cost you money. Now, this kind of statement is relevant for pretty much every part of your business, but one of the biggest errors I've seen with clients and with just you know people in general is when it comes to like sales calls and who you're selling to. The biggest assumption you make is that someone can't afford your program or that someone is not actually interested or that someone's not gonna be a good fit. And now let me just be straight up and honest with you. Until you've worked with say a thousand clients, you cannot make any assumptions as to who is gonna be a good fit or a bad fit for your program. Because I look at my program and everyone in that program is different. We have mums, we have dads, we have young guys, young men, young women. We have people who are single, people who are married, people who are divorced, everyone is different. And so if I had this idea of the perfect client, the perfect avatar, I'm just turning away all these people that actually I can help. And just because you think someone can't afford it, don't cancel a sales call. Don't turn them away. Get them on that call anyway. Sell to them because believe me, there are so many people we have closed for our program who on paper should not be qualified, who on paper you would turn away. But we still took the time. We still showed them the value of our program. We still showed them what we can do and they found the money. They found the funds or they realized that actually this is the way they wanted to do it. They didn't want to do it another way. Lesson four is to be the person who you want to attract. This is probably a bit of a wishy-washy, you know, a bit of a kind of cliche statement. And what I mean by that is, let's say you're selling high ticket. So I sell high ticket. I have to make sure that I embody someone who can attract a high ticket client. So every action I take, everything I do based on my habits, based on how I show up every day, based on how I create content, based on how I'm talking to you now. Everything I'm doing is based around this identity of who I want to attract. You know, so I'm the person who I'm, I'm straight talking, I work hard, you know, I make my content, prioritize my clients, I wanna grow, I wanna scale, you know, and I have all these kind of traits that I try to show from my content. If you're not that person, then I won't attract you, okay? So you have to first become the person you want to attract 
Only after that will you actually start attracting that type of person. Moving on to the final lesson, lesson number five, diversifying, it's, it's bullshit. Diversifying is when, for example, let's say you're on Instagram, um, you know, you're, you're growing, you're doing well, and then you decide to go to another platform. You go to TikTok, you go to Twitter, you go to LinkedIn. This is absolutely the worst thing you can do. The point is there's a time and place to do it. And most people do it way too early. And the reason people diversify early it's because what they're doing is not working. If I had a cut on my arm, diversifying is like putting a bandage around it. It doesn't actually heal it, it just covers it up. But yes, so that's the five lessons. So to recap, lesson one, sell while you build. Lesson two, simplicity scales, complexity fails. Lesson three, assumptions cost you money. Uh, lesson four, be the person you want to attract. And then lesson five, diversification is bullshit. Um, okay guys, so look, if you like this style of video, uh, you're probably gonna wanna check out this video as well. Uh, it's about three principles that I've learned um, and I followed that helped me get my business, my coaching business from zero uh, to 10K per month, um, pretty much within about two months of actually launching it. Um, so go and watch that video, that'd be useful. Um, but other than that, as usual, thanks for your time. I uh, appreciate you watching the video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.